Geriatrics is relevant in terms of cardiovascular care because people are living longer. The fact is that the average longevity in America has increased 30 years since 1900. So we have a population that is much older uh, because people are surviving events that would have taken their life uh, in the past. And so we have this rising population, 40 million now, crime, climbing progressively over the decades that are anticipated. Um, and this is a population that's inherently predisposed to cardiac disease. So all of our standards of care, I would argue, um, are really not uh, consistent with the population who tend to be much older with lots of other issues that confound their management of traditional cardiovascular problems. So what we're seeing are patients that have, in a very predictable way, issues of more, uh, their metabolism, but uh, issues of multimorbidity, not just an isolated cardiac issue. They have cardiac issues in combination with pulmonary issues, with arthritis, um, and other things which really, in a sense, confound or complicate the treatment of cardiac disease. Cardiac disease is predictable, but it's cardiac disease as part of a constellation of many diseases which are all predictable. Cardiac disease tends to be uh, a source of particular concern because it's life-threatening, and so even though the irony is that people have lived longer, they're predisposed to this new life-threatening predicament for which we have tools, but in a sense, I would argue the tools really need to be refined, so it's dealing with metabolic shifts, and this is compounded by the fact that there's constitutional changes as the fact of getting older, less muscle, more fat, uh, so everything kind of works differently, every pill, every, every therapy. But it's also the fact that patients have other disease processes, so they have, in most cases patients tend to be on multiple drugs for multiple diseases, so it's the fact that most patients that are older have almost guaranteed issues of polypharmacy, multiple doctors all kind of doing different things simultaneously. And then we have predictable heart problems like coronary disease or atrial fibrillation and uh, heart failure. And each of those have complicated standards of care. So how one navigates through that as a primary provider, as a nurse, as a uh, cardiologist is completely ambiguous. And so we have standards of care for disease processes. They're all very narrowly defined um, disease processes and we have care, but it's, it's really not responding to the reality that most patients have 10 diseases and 20 meds and much more complexity. And they're vulnerable to falls, and they're vulnerable to confusion, and they're vulnerable to other things which can happen more easily if we start throwing pills at them and procedures. So we have a lot of providers trying to do well by their older patients but we don't have standards of care that really respond to that complexity, to that challenge. In medicine, in general, we, we talk about the patient-centered care paradigm. There's a lot of, 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 of um, emphasis given to that priority. And my belief is that we don't really live up to that in terms of having patient-centered standards that reflect the complexity of most patients' circumstances.